sorry for the really bad quality, but this is my Toshiba netbook in B505, as stated before on a previous video with Call of Duty uh, number one playing. And yes, I did make this background, I drew it out myself, thank you. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm launching up Gary's Mod, and a lot of people have been saying, oh, Gary's Mod won't work on netbooks and whatever. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look here and figure out how it works. It takes a while for it to uh, kick up, so I'll be back. Alright, we're back. After about five minutes of waiting, it finally loads up here. So we got the uh, main menu here. We got start a new game, load game, play multiplayer options, and all that good stuff. And uh, over here, we have a nice little notice saying Gears Mod 13 will be out very soon, 24th of September, and it's going to be cool. I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to try it with my netbook. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go to... Oh, I don't even have any games, that's sad. Alright, we're just going to start a new game in flat grass. Uh, it's a pretty big map. Yeah, that's really all it is. It's just a flat map. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, so it says loading resources. This is the painful part. Is It takes about five minutes to get to the title page, which is like, okay, whatever. And I also have Game Booster kicking up on here. Um, I'm not, I don't remember how long exactly this takes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it for you and get back in. Alright, that actually only took about a minute. So we are good for there. Alright, so it went ahead and loaded up the map. And as you can tell, I can move around. Just like that, no problems. I mean, you know, nothing. And uh, we go ahead and open up our menu. Okay. Alright, let's try this left handed. This be better. Alright, well, we can go through our menu. And uh, there you go. I mean, it loads up real easily. Um, really, no problems with it. I'll go ahead and spawn something up here. Okay, it's way over there. Didn't want it there. Let's put it right here. Just like that. And it doesn't have that many problems. Uh, just boop right in. And uh, you can. Do that. Okay, grab a pistol. And the shooting works. Uh, exploding works for sure. No lag at all or anything. Okay, so if we want to do a, how about a mass spawn, no problems. Now it only starts to lag when a lot of things is going on, just like that. All those explosions, it just does not like it. As you can tell, it's kind of kind of iffy when you move around. But once it's done, it's done. I mean, no problems after. Okay. And those are disappear, so if we want to try NPC battles or even uh, let's see how about we go to construction props They spawn up pretty good. Um, there's a lot of useful props now. It's pretty nice. Um, how about we try rails and roller coasters? This is a nice new feature. A giant, a little gumball. So it looks like people can do the little gumball things and I guess go from there, huh? Also the toy box works well in this, I mean it has no problems. Uh, also depends on your internet speed, which will make it faster or slower or whatever. 
And just like that, we can load up little little ball thing that ooh that likes to hit you. But no, uh, you just pretty easy stuff. Uh, loads up really well. And um, yeah, there you go. And disconnects, and it goes right back to the main menu, no problem. Uh, I have not tried multiplayer because there's just so many people on and they just have new new stuff I guess I don't know and I don't want to download new crap you know like new maps and that just doesn't seem fun to me but if I click on map look around for a bitch I'm sure I can find one that has flat grass and be nice if someone was in it. Okay, click on connect. See what this does, huh? Down here it says retrieving server info. Okay. And then downloading settings slash target wire mods. Hmm. I'm not going to do these because it's going to take forever, as you can tell. It just now went to one bar. Oh, there's two. Maybe I should let it download, huh? Alright, I'll get back once it's done. Okay, so about a minute or so later. It finally loads up and there's multiplayer. However, it's pretty laggy. It's not too bad. Um, someone's exploding stuff, so it doesn't really help me out very much. Um, I'll walk around a little bit. Let's see what this dude is doing. Looks like he built himself a bunker. Again, very laggy. It's not too bad though. I mean, it's dealable, I guess. Let's see, it's. Hmm. I don't know. Whoa. Bringing up the menu, looks really good. Um, someone put a jet in here, I don't know why. Don't know why they put a jet in here, it's kind of weird. And right now, yeah, there it goes, lagging bad. He's putting hover balls on here. And that's just really lagging. Yep, so it's pretty All right, so after that multiplayer session I just went ahead and exited the game. Um the lag's not too bad unless they add a bunch of stuff then it starts lagging. Um a bunch of stuff can be like boxes and working jets, I guess. I I'm not quite sure, but um I tested the mic and all that good stuff. Voicing the voice works, I mean there's no lag between that. Typing and all that crap works and yeah, so this is my background. I, I did make this myself. Kingdom Hearts 3D uh, for the DS. I've been playing that a lot lately. And if you've never seen an unboxing video, that's of this game right here. And I've been playing it. Uh, got to the second world and beat the bosses with both, both characters. So I'm moving to another world. And I'm wondering if I'm going too fast. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I do have it on proud mode and I'm probably going to go back and get all the treasures. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, rate, or whatever the hell you want to do on YouTube. Peace.